I'm going to take a few minutes to give an overview of the Prince George economy and talk about our key drivers and the competitive advantages that we highlight when we are marketing and promoting Prince George. We are the Economic Development Corporation for the City of Prince George. It's our job to facilitate economic growth and diversification. And I use that word facilitate very deliberately because as a quasi-governmental organization, uh, I don't create, Initiatives Prince George doesn't create economic growth, that's what the private sector does. That's what business does and it's our job to identify opportunities and barriers and to help you do your job which is to grow the economy. A large part of what we do is market and promote Prince George so I'm going to talk a little bit about the messages and the competitive advantages that we highlight when we are marketing and promoting Prince George as a great place to live, to work, to invest and to play. And another key uh, part of our, of our mandate and our job is to facilitate population growth. We've had pretty steady growth in Prince George in terms of population over the last five or six years. Uh, we are poised to increase that growth and increasing that growth uh, is essential to, uh, to our success as a city and as a region. Um, of course, growth also increases the tax base, um, but ultimately, of course, the, the larger purpose is to uh, improve everyone's quality of life. So we're here today at the Regional Market Expansion Forum. We want to talk about economic growth in northern BC. Right? It's important to do that. It's important to take a look at the opportunities that we have and talk about what those opportunities are so that we can capitalize and take advantage on them, uh, of them. We want to increase our understanding of the procurement policies of some of the major projects and we have representatives of major projects and large companies here in the room to share uh, their insights with you. It's important to connect Northern BC service and supply firms to those regional major project proponents. We need to build that connection um, and we need to earn the right to compete for their business and we need to, uh, we need to get to know the people uh, that can make those connections happen. We want to provide information to businesses who want to expand their markets, their services, and their customers' base. And if there's one thing that we've learned and heard loud and clear from Prince George businesses over the last year um, is that you want to expand. You want to grow. You want to, ex uh, to increase your customer base. And um, uh, we're here to help. And so we very much appreciate your attendance today and, and seeing such a great turnout is, uh, is a good sign of that. And we also want to provide information about global supply chains and export readiness. And we have uh, the representatives of uh, US and Chinese consuls here to do that, as well as representatives, senior representatives from the province of British Columbia. So when we talk about Prince George, and we talk about growth and opportunity and investment, these are some of the key uh, messages that we, that we talk about. We have a growing and diversified economy. And that's um, not something that we could have said 20 or 25 years ago. Right? If we, um, the unemployment rate in Prince George in 1996 was 17%. Today, we have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the entire country. And that's because we have uh, diversified uh, and become more resilient in our economy. We, often, we also talk about the $70 billion worth of resource and res resource related projects in northern BC that are planned and underway over the next 10 to 15 years. And I have a slide that talks about those more specifically. We talk about the fact that we do have a robust supply and service um, uh, chain in our city um, and that we are the, the hub for northern BC and that we serve a variety of industries. So although our city is a little less than 80,000 people, we supply and serve an area of 335,000 people and an area that has 60 to 70 percent of the major pro projects in BC planned in our service area. We are connected to global markets. International Airport, CN Intermodal Facility and their rail lines, excellent highway infrastructure, and, and 800 kilometers from the ports of Vancouver and the ports of Prince Rupert. We are also the Education, Health and Cultural Centre for Northern BC, again for that 335,000 um, people population. There are very few cities of less than 80,000 people on the continent that can boast an award-winning university a full university teaching hospital, a cancer agency for the north, a full symphony orchestra, two professional theaters, lots of great restaurants, lots of great shopping, and where else can you buy a five bedroom, three bathroom, fully finished basement, and of a quiet cul-de-sac, 10 minutes from an award-winning university for $450,000. The people in Vancouver shudder when we say that. We offer that affordable quality of life and the incredible amenities in our city uh, that are really second to none in our world class to attract that growing population. Okay, so this uh, map, and it's going to come up in, in, um, in layers, 
is meant to illustrate that $70 billion. So we're, there's some existing, uh, existing infrastructure there as well, but $70 billion is a big number. It's hard to imagine and understand what that looks like. So there's Prince George, center of the universe. I can say that because I grew up in Toronto. Um, so we start with our pellet mills, our saw mills, our pulp and paper mills, our operating coal mines. And so when you're looking at this slide, think of Prince George as the supply and service hub for all of this activity. Operating metal mines, mines in development, so that's Mount Milligan and Red Chris. Proposed mines, these are mines in some stage of environmental and permitting review. Mine significant projects. So these are the junior exploration mines. So the purpose of that slide, again, is to help people conceptualize what $70 billion looks like. And that does not include any of the construction or the rail tracks or the, inf the infrastructure projects that are also associated to enable all that work. So when we talk about forestry, uh, the traditional forest sector in, uh, in Prince George and in the northern part of the province has been uh, strengthened in recent years by the very good job uh, that the forest industry in the province of BC has done in terms of expanding into international markets. 2011 was the first time that exports of lumber from the province of British Columbia uh, to China exceeded those to the United States. So diversifying our customer base uh, has been an important part of increasing the resiliency of our economy. We've also diversified in terms of our, our products. The, new pe the pellet industry in BC is a $150 million industry, and the vast majority of those pellets are produced right here in this region. We are also a, a growing center, um, for, or for the center for the growing bioenergy industry, as testament, test, uh, testamented by uh, the, uh, the UNBC's bioenergy plant as well as the, uh, the bioenergy facility that's been constructed for municipal energy in downtown Prince George. Oil and gas. The BC government has, committed, has a huge commitment to LNG development with the hopes of the first LNG plant to be operational by 2015 and three more, hopefully, by 2020. And those proposed pipelines, as we saw on the map, are, uh, will likely th route through the Prince George region. And that creates incredible opportunities for Prince George firms, engaged in professional services, manufacturing, fabrication, construction, transportation, and the list goes on. There's also the opportunity for uh, the LNG alternative, which is an above-ground pipeline, transporting LNG and manufacturing LNG um, uh, pot potentially in the, in the Prince George region and transporting that by rail. And our competitive advantages and our opportunities because of our well-planned, available and affordable light industrial land base makes that a real opportunity. The map also showed the mining sector, nine operating mines, two under development, 19 proposed and 78 major exploration projects across northern BC. In 2012, that represented almost $560 million, up almost 70% from 2011. And there is significant um, uh, mining activity planned again, so shown on the map in the northwest part of the province. And we are the supply and service hub for all of that work. The employment in the mining sector in Prince George has increased by an annual average of almost 32% over the past five years. That's a significant factor in our, the health of our economy. 1,100 Prince George residents are directly employed by mining. 6,800 residents in northern BC. And when we talk about procurement and supply and service, in 2012, Thompson Creek Metals, which is constructing the Mount Milligan mine, spent $125 million in the region, $61 million directly in Prince George. In 2012, New Gold, uh, which is the Blackwater project just south of Vanderhoof. So that mine is in a different phase, right? It's not under construction, it's in the exploration stage. And, and in 2012, they spent $130 million in the region. And those are two mines. Our manufacturing centre is part of a fully developed supply chain primarily driven by natural resource development. We've always had, of course, a very strong forest sector manufacturing base. But we also have a well-diversified sector, chemicals, machinery, equipment, and metal products. It's supported by our well-planned and good uh, transportation network. 
And again, our affordable inventory of light, intermediate, and heavy industrial land use allows for uh, the attraction of new investment and the expanding of existing operations. And that's a competitive advantage that many other communities don't have. We are a very well-planned community, and we have um, both from, from residential, commercial, to industrial. And when investors are looking at the city of Prince George, that's one of the things that they always say, is how well-planned we are, and how, what a good um, available amount of light industrial land use that we have. The construction sector is a significant, uh, important driver in our economy. 28.5% uh, of Northern BC's construction employment is based in Prince George. 23% of all construction firms in the North are based in Prince George. Last year, employment growth in the, in the construction center grew by almost 12% and almost 2% growth in the number of firms. We think back to that $70 billion and the growth in that area is going to continue. Again, 60 to 70% of all of the capital investment proposed in the province of British Columbia on the province's, province's capital, major capital projects plan is in northern British Columbia. Talked a little bit about our transportation network, uh, full international airport, and I would be remiss if I did not point out that um, uh, uh, CME has announced um, a direct flight from Prince George to Calgary. And that's incredibly important. What a good indication that is of how the oil and gas sector is an increasingly important driver in the Prince George economy and regional economy. The uh, map on your screen is intended to illustrate how you, wh where you can go to Prince George within three days. So the lightest gray is a one-day drive, the middle, middle gray is a two-day drive in terms of transporting, right, uh, transporting products, and the dark gray is a three-day drive. So we can get to the fastest growing markets in the United States in three days. Proximity to the major West Coast ports again, and that important, incredibly important role on the Asia Pacific Gateway. And we have an active and growing transportation and logistics sector. And if you think again about that $70 billion and how much stuff has to get from A to B, transportation and logistics is a great place to think about investing. Education and healthcare sectors. Also, a significant um, uh, driver in our economy. Northern Health is the largest employer in Prince George. The main campuses of CNC and the University of Northern British Columbia, the University Hospital of Northern British Columbia, the recently just over $100 million that's been invested in the cancer agency from the, for the North, shows our role as capital and leader in this region and um, the importance of the North overall so that people have proximity to the healthcare services that they need. And that infrastructure allows us to support our growing population base and be able to attract new population to our city. So at this point of the presentation, we've talked, we've talked sort of big picture, and now I'd like to just show you um, some specific statistics about how much Prince George itself has grown as a result of the, of the activity that's happening in Northern BC over the last year. So between two, 2007 and 2012, we have achieved an annual population growth of just under 1%. That's good, it's steady, it's growth, it's sustainable, but it's not enough. We need to grow faster. Uh, and attract new pop more population to our city um, if we are uh, going to fully capitalize. 2012, the employment growth in Prince George was 3.1%. If we break that down by sector, forestry, mining, oil and gas, employment grew by 80%. Construction, almost 12%. Manufacturing, 30%. Wholesale and retail trade, 10.5%. And healthcare, 4.4%. The average home price in Prince George in 2012 went up by 2.4%. Home sales, 2.2%, and housing starts, 34.5%. We're building more houses, we're selling more houses, and they cost more. You take those three statistics together, and that is, again, an indication of true growth. The number, the, amount of, the number of building permits issued by the city of Prince George in 2012 went up by almost 20%, but the really exciting thing about that is that 85% of those permits were issued to the private sector. So the private sector is building Prince George. Again, a true indication of growth. And our airport traffic increased in 2012 by 4%, showing our, our, um, our role as the, as the transportation center for one of the fastest growing regions with one of the lowest unemployment rates in the entire country. <laughs> help us help you. 
um, connect with us through our distribution lists. If you're not connecting with us, if you're not receiving our monthly publications, please put your business card um, in the basket at the front counter, which we are going to move to be more convenient to this table over here. Good, thank you. Um, so this is the On The Move um, uh, monthly, uh, monthly newsletter. Every month we also put out an economic update, so those statistics that I, I shared with you just a few minutes ago, we update those and provide those every month. Our supply and service firm directory. This directory now has a little over than a, a little more than 150 Prince George supply and service firms in the uh, service the industrial um, the industrial sector. And if you're not in this directory, it's free. It's a great um, opportunity for you to showcase your business. We use it as a marketing tool when we're talking to large investment companies in terms of let me show you what the supply chain in Prince George looks like. Um, again, you can get you just get in touch with Dave Jeffcott, leave your business card. If you'd like to be in that directory, getting in is a very easy thing to do. And this cuts off a little bit, but Northern Development Initiatives Trust is here, and Northern Development Initiatives Trust is creating what they're calling the supply chain connector. So it is a directory for the entire northern region, and um, it is going to be a searchable database. So if you're already in the, in the Prince George database, you're going to automatically be rolled into uh, the Northern Developments uh, database, so you'll be in two places. Um, and if you want to be in the searchable database, please stop by and talk to, uh, to Renata and her team at the Northern Development Initiatives Trust table uh, to find out about how the supply chain connector works. This is an incredibly valuable tool to uh, become known uh, to the procurement managers of not only the major projects, but also um, the existing, uh, the existing um, major companies in Prince George and in the north that are always looking for, uh, for suppliers and contractors. So this is the uh, live, work, play section of our website. So another part of the, this goes back to helping to people to recruit and grow the population. This is our, uh, on our website, um, there's 130 or so, so far, Prince George firms on this website. So if you're um, FAR fabricating or IDL, you can see that there's a number of different bid construction groups, it's another, uh, are on there. You click on that and it takes you directly to that company's careers page. So it's a, and all of our marketing materials are directing people to that part of our website. So it's a way, a one-stop shop, if you're looking for work in Prince George, or you're looking for work, you're thinking of moving to Prince George, everything you might want to know about living in Prince George is available through these pages on the website. Meet with us to talk about your business challenges and opportunities. We're here to help. We want to talk to you and we want to design programs that are of benefit to you and your businesses and participate in the forums and workshops. And again, we're so pleased um, uh, with the turnout today and with you taking time uh, from your busy lives and your busy businesses and growing the economy to come and learn and, and, and share your thoughts with us.